Well, looky there. The GameSpot review for Super Mario Galaxy 2 has come out. Much awaited review for most of us. And, uh, looky there. It got a perfect 10. Pretty impressive. Uh, for those of you who do not know, as if wasn't evident enough by my posters, uh, I am a huge Nintendo fan. You'll have to pardon the uh, camera angles because my tripod's uh, not set up right now. But anyway, I'm a huge Nintendo fan and uh, it's pretty interesting and pretty amazing to see Super Mario Galaxy 2 get a perfect 10 on GameSpot. There are probably less, in fact I know there are less than 10 games that have ever gotten a perfect 10 from GameSpot's uh, set of reviewers. Uh, most notably, the other game to get a perfect 10 would be uh, The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time on the Nintendo 64. That was one of the very first, if not the first, perfect 10s. Um, we have some other notables like Grand Theft Auto 4, uh, Tony Hawk Pro Skater, I think, on the PSP. Um, but, by and large, the most notable Perfect Tens are Ocarina of Time and now a Nintendo Second Perfect Ten, Super Mario Galaxy 2. Uh, the original Super Mario Galaxy only got like a 9.5 or a 9.8. So, to see this Perfect Ten is just so impressive. And I'm saying that, I'm sitting here watching the review and I haven't actually even played the first Super Mario Galaxy. Uh, yes, I know, that's almost blasphemy, blasphemy for someone who considers themselves a Nintendo fan, but, you know, I've got a real life too and, and as much as it might seem like it to everybody else, I don't have time to sit around playing video games. Uh, the last video game I've played would be The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess on the GameCube, but I'm actually still halfway through it. That ought to tell you something. This game came out in 2005 or 2006, I think. Um, so, you know. But, with this review coming out, I might just have to uh, break down and, and sit and play the original Super Mario Galaxy and then play Super Mario Galaxy 2. You know, my little brother was actually making fun of me yesterday because not only have not I not played Super Mario Galaxy titles, but I actually have never played through the uh, Mario's last outing on the GameCube, which would be Super Mario Sunshine, I believe. Um, there's a rather embarrassing story behind that that I'm not even going to begin to try and explain. But basically, I got stuck on the first level of... Or not even a level. It's like the little city uh, in Super Mario Sunshine. And I don't know what the heck the problem was with me, but I did not realize that you had to jump through the uh, painted M or W or whatever it is that the uh, protagonist in... in Super Mario Sunshine paints on the on one of the monuments in the town square. So I was just stuck for like 20 minutes wandering around the town and I finally said, well screw this and I haven't looked at the game since and that was like six years ago. So yeah. But uh, I still say I'm one of the biggest Nintendo fans. Um, maybe I'm old school. Uh, you get me in front of a, an NES with Contra or The Legend of Zelda or the original Super Mario Brothers or uh, Super Mario 3, now there's a game. Super Mario Brothers 3, Super Mario World, that is a game. And uh, it's not surprising that uh, the reviewers on GameSpot that gave Super Mario Galaxy 2 a perfect 10 have, uh, they spend a quite a fair amount of time comparing this game to the likes of Super Mario World because Super Mario World was such a revolutionary uh, two-dimensional platformer back when 2D platformers were king on the uh, Super NES. Uh, so they make no bones about comparing this uh, 
level of revolutionariness or whatever you want to say uh, to that of Super Mario World when it came out in what was it 1991 or 92 I think so uh, uh, from watching the review uh, I'm pretty excited it's it's definitely uh, impressive and breathtaking to say the least not that the original Super Mario Galaxy wasn't uh, but uh, it's just, you know, where the Super Mario, the original Super Mario Galaxy took the Wii and their graphics pushed it to the limit, Super Mario Galaxy 2 looks to have just totally exceeded that. Uh, again, pushing pushing the Wii to its limits even further. It's to look at some of this footage that they've shown on the review, uh, and you wonder how in the world they got the Wii to be able to produce this level of detail and the level of uh, the incredible level of uh, graphic detail and not only that but the sound uh, most of uh, as they say in the review most of the uh, the sounds the the music has been remixed and reorchestrated and it's just breathtaking and that was just from the review I can't wait to play the game itself so I'm gonna wrap this up this was just a quick little blog because I was so impressed uh, I'm uh, Again, go to www.gamespot.com. Most of you guys know what GameSpot is. Uh, and uh, check out the uh, Wii tab. And the very latest review is Super Mario Galaxy 2. May 21st, 2010 is what it says it was posted. But uh, I think it was posted a couple of days after that. But nonetheless, very impressive. Very impressive. Perfect 10. Catch you guys later.